Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode 158 of the I Rock Knits podcast. Today, I am at Harriet and Alice with the store owner, Kate. <laughs> and Harriet and Alice are my grandmothers. Yes. Yeah. And so they named it after their grandmothers, which mm -hmm. is really neat. Yeah. It is located at 50th in France, in Edina, Minnesota. Um, and so if you are familiar with the Twin Cities, it's kind of centrally located. Yeah, you know, it's across just, the street from Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's right there. <laughs> yeah. um, it's uh, you have expanded since you opened. Yep, we're and in the upstairs. Yeah, now. we're sitting upstairs, and I am literally looking at a wall of spin cycle right now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it a is lot. incredible how much spin, spin cycle yeah. you have. I kind of like it. Right now, yeah. everybody does, <laughs> yeah. but uh, there aren't many places that have as much as you have. Yes. And yeah, and that's a wall of investment, right? Like you For went sure. all in on yeah. it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, so yeah. that's lovely. Yeah. Um, so welcome. Thanks. I'm glad to have you here. I have <laughs> taught for Kate a few times, mm -hmm. and I um, have to tell the story of how we met because okay. I know it. And all right, I, good. you might remember it too. <laughs> um, but I came what in with my suitcase. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I rolled it into this new little shop, and I'm like, hi. I'm Corey Eichelberger, and I'm a knitwear designer and teacher, and I'd really like to work with you. Yeah. <laughs> and it was those moments when I was really trying to put myself out there. Yeah. And I'm an extrovert, but that was hard, right? Yeah. Like, that was hard going into yarn store and just telling someone that you love to teach and you want to be a designer and mm -hmm. this is your dream and would you help me, right? Yeah. Like. Could you, yeah. would you, that kind of thing. Yeah. Do you remember? Me? I do remember. <laughs> I remember all your suitcases. They're bright. Um, yeah. Usually orange. orange. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I remember. And I, which is fun because I, like for me as a new shop owner, that's kind of great to like have somebody come in and say, hey, this is what I do. Do you want me to do it with you? Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I didn't know at the time if anyone would ever take me up on it mm -hmm. or um, you know, where I was kind of at. And so it, it was kind of nerve wracking, but I would, I would always leave. Everyone was always very welcoming and, yeah. and nice about it, but it, you know, walking into a shop and then having someone say, do you need help? How did you and your mom kind of decide, make the decisions to start the yarn store? Right. So we talked about, um, uh, Needlework Unlimited. So that was the my local yarn store, closest shop. I mean, and uh, Karen was retiring and she was closing it down. And at that moment, at that same moment, being a former teacher and not wanting to go back to the classroom, I was like, what do I do? What do I do? And I'm like, oh, open a yarn store. And so that's kind of the short version of it. And then my mom was like, I, also a teacher. She's also a teacher. She's retired. And she was like, um, I don't want to, like, be, like, I don't know. She's not an owner, technically. Right. But she was like, I will be there. I will work for you. Pay me in Rombauer, Chardonnay, and grandchildren, and we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we do. And, and she works... Um, for sure Fridays and then, you know, some other times. She teaches. So, teaches so, classes. She was doing a sock class yep, this morning. Yep. And she's, she's taught children's classes. Mm -hmm. So she was yep. an elementary yep, teacher. Yeah, she was an elementary and how did you find this space? Because this is a very interesting yeah. place that you're at. We are at probably one of the most eclectic corners in mm -hmm. Minneapolis, 50th in France, Yeah. Um, but you're just off a little bit and down an alley. Yeah. Like, you really would call it an alley. It's yeah. a nice alley. Yeah. There are other shops in the alley. Yeah. But, and then on the back side of it was a parking lot, and, yeah. and now it is a high-rise apartment building. Yeah. yeah. And so that changed after you came here. Right. So how did you originally find yeah. this so, spot and think that this would be a good place to be? Because, I'm yeah. sorry, but rents here would be extraordinary yeah. well and I was work looking at rents in this area as well as like various shopping district areas in Minneapolis like closer to my house and it was the same so I was like okay well um but I happen to and and not necessarily available so I live in Linden Hills there's a great shopping district in Linden Hills yeah I yep. would have loved to have yep. been there where my kids could like get off the bus and come walk down did you live um, there when Linden Hills yarn shop was there no, oh. I know, 
I have so yeah, I, I know <laughs> I shopped a linen years yarn shop. Yeah. I have a shawl, an entire box of yarn still in the oil from back in the day from there that I've never knit. Oh. Um, that I bought a, just this giant kit when they were going out of business. That was a lovely little, oh, yeah, dark little shop. But yeah, it was, it was, yeah. yeah, well, I've been into the space, the yeah. area, yeah. and I've I shopped there. I think before we moved, moved to that neighborhood, there. but yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, but I would have loved to have like that area just convenience wise. Mm -hmm. This is really not that far from there. <laughs> yeah, it's really not that bad. No. But when the kids were little, you know, it yeah. would have been nice. Yeah. Um, but then because could you have walked? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I could have walked. It would have been nice. Now I have to drive. Anyway, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. It's like five minutes. Yeah. Um, but then I was just walking through the neighborhood, and there was a sign. This used to be the Edina Travel business. Yep. And then there was a sign that's for rent, and then I checked it out, and I was like, oh yeah, I can fit in here. And then I ended up having to expand after a few years because, as we all do, well, was, we like yarn. It's a small space. It's a small space, and then I think it was really post-pandemic of having a classroom space yeah. because people didn't want to be crowded in next to each other, which I totally understood, but we were always very crowded if there was a class going on. Mm -hmm. And so this is nice now. We have this nice space and, and you know, it is upstairs. So if somebody needs help downstairs, we move tables around, we make it work and it's, it's good. We wouldn't ever expect somebody that had a challenge um, to try to get to try and get them yeah. stairs. So we, we always help with that, um, bring them yarn, whatever, I don't care. But it just happened to be that this was the only way. This building was built in the 70s. And I, the building, the person who bought it and did the remodel, he, he joked, he was like, they were on crack. And I was like, well, it was probably the 70s, so angel dust. But he didn't understand. He's too young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was no, like, I okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's like very ups and downs and weird. And because you, you have a downstairs too, which is yes, not now storage. Public, no, but it's, all it's storage your stuff. office yeah. kind of and where yeah. you, there's tables. and. Mm -hmm. But it's all open too. So yeah. everyone gets to see, yeah. see yeah. my mess. Yeah, because <laughs> there's like yeah. a railing and you yeah. can look down into that yeah. space. Yeah. Um, so, but it's great. I mean, we, uh, we've been really happy being here. Um, yeah, it was originally there was a parking ramp, now there's a plaza. Um, they have events on the plaza, so tomorrow, which won't be in time for this podcast, but there's um, llamas on the plaza. Um, we have trick or treating and all sorts of things that happen. So, um, you know, it's, it's but this fun. is definitely a uh, destination shopping area. Oh you yeah, would come, yeah, you would have lunch. There are stores. Mm -hmm. There's a little yeah. bakery down the. There's a cupcake shop. Um, yeah. Lots of eclectic cream, restaurant and then, stints, and then shopping like yeah. kitchen store and um, stationery and I mean like well, all everything. The things. Yeah, you don't need yeah. to go anywhere else. No, like yeah, yeah. just in general, yeah. you can do your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and all of your shopping, shopping. here. Yeah, yeah, Cause, yeah. Men and women now, because we have a lot of new men's shops now too. So yeah, really. I mean, if you're holiday shopping, just come to Fifty in France. Yeah, you got all the yarn and then other things too yeah. for the people that don't like the yarn. <laughs> I don't know who they are, but, you know. <laughs> exactly. exactly. When yeah. we sat down, um, I had asked Kate to bring five to ten of her favorite knits or, or yarns or products mm -hmm. or whatever, and she said one of your favorite knits was this vest. And so we yeah. started talking about it, and it would have been good content for yes. this podcast. So, so we're going to so talk about us. it again. Yeah, so. so it was my very first garment that I made. And it was a bulkier weight yarn. So not super bulky, but bulky. And it has a cable, big, a single cable down the front and a mock neck. And I'm sure people, if you've watched me on Instagram, you have seen this vest and you have asked me what the pattern name is. And I cannot tell you. So I will be putting it out there for yes. Yeah. So I sent find her, the pattern. Yeah, so I sent her, people want to know the pattern. Yeah. You could take a Google image picture and mm -hmm. put it in Google search and it might pop up what it was on Ravelry. You think it was Sirdar. I think it was Sirdar. Sirdar. And yeah. So it'd be an older yeah. pattern, but Sirdar probably has their patterns out yeah, there yeah. on Ravelry, all their old patterns. You think you got it at Needlework Unlimited. Oh, for sure. Which is, that's, that was my is, yeah, local yarn store, store so yep. pretty much only shop there. <laughs> but then I said, you could also just put a picture on Instagram. Yeah. Someone that follows you, and then people might repost it and say, does yeah. anyone know what this is? Because I've looked yeah. for patterns for people that way before. And I that's have good. a friend who lives in Wisconsin, Jenny, 
and um and if we can't figure out what a pattern is, we usually send it to Jenny, mm -hmm. and she usually right, can Jenny. find it. On. Yep. So, <laughs> um, right. but yeah, I you know I yeah. think there are patterns out there that people can't find. Right. They or they lost the pattern and they have half a project done. Yeah. Right. And they don't know what the pattern was, right. or grandma or mom had it and it's mm -hmm. in a bag and they would like to finish it. And that's yeah. two of the ways I know. Because we, we were did. talking about me putting on my vest this morning. And yeah. this is the Duchess vest. And I, I added these buttons. But it was in a book. And it is the book is discontinued. Mm -hmm. And I have showed this on the podcast before. But yeah. um, since the book is discontinued mm -hmm. and the pattern isn't available, I can share the pattern. Like, I could copy it if someone was, yeah. like, desperate. But, it <laughs> like... It's it's cute. It's a vest. It just has a little. It doesn't actually button. You just no. sew the button. No, oh, I just it. sewed them on yeah, because cute. it was kind of plain, and I'm not a plain gal. <laughs> I have to have a little embellishment, a little extra out everything. Yeah, I'm it's a little not... extra. I got no, my orange no, tags I mean, on today. That's, that's what right. makes me happy when yeah. I get dressed, right? Yeah. And people get dressed in black yeah. and gray, and that makes them happy in the yeah. morning. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever Never, makes you feel good. So exactly. exactly right. The older you become, the brighter you should dress up. Ah, oh, okay. okay. Well, that's good to know because yeah. I got lots of brights. <laughs> so and I don't yes. know why I thought I needed so many buttons on. <laughs> I know but, you got buttons, but you're did. making a necklace out of the buttons. I am. On the top I am. They don't. But they yeah. kind of go with the polka dots, right? They like do. they're yeah. kind of they're. They it's kind of a round embellish. <laughs> I don't know. It's good. This is how you're I good. dress. My, probably my absolute favorite, and it's the Trinigan. I have n I've never seen this before. All right, oh and my it's gosh. in my hot dish spin cycle hot dish. Oh, and the tr and trine, below ninety yep. degrees, which is the black and white and gray. So so big long yeah, uh, cardigan. And I so and I changed it. Drop shoulder. It's a drop shoulder, and then her pattern. It's an Andrea Mallory pattern. So hers is like wide sleeve oh, okay. yep. and short. Okay. And so I tapered it. It's still short, but it literally is like, I get here some days and I'm like, oh, it's a little chilly. And I want to throw it on. And I'm like, oh, it's at home. You know, <laughs> this okay. is the one I go to. This is yep. my go-to. Yep. And I get so many compliments on it. And speaking of lots of color, but also with that black and white, right? Right. So I can yeah. with anything. For sure. And yeah. I would think a pretty easy pattern. Yeah. Like it's color it's work all slip, over, but right? It's, no, it's uh, mosaic. Slip stitch. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even. I haven't turned better. it in out. So, oh, yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. So it's even Okay, better. I'll show you the inside. So see, yeah. she's slipping all those. Yeah. So, so only working one color in each row. Yeah. And then. Yeah, oh, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I think you just do, and you like the, when you're doing the black and white, it's just like knit the whole thing, right? With the, the, the yeah. marled one. Yeah. And then it's got a really oh, nice. A bound off shoulder or yeah. um probably three needle bind off across mm -hmm. the top of the so, shoulder yeah. Yeah, yeah can you guys yeah so how cute is that yeah and it's worsted weight so it went quick um and you don't have to use spin cycle or the trend again um like i've seen it in like a solid i did see somebody do um like just the the trine um for the cuffs and then more of a solid with their spin cycle for the main. Which I is don't really know what pretty. trine is. Oh, it's, uh, do you want me to grab it? Sure. Okay, this is the one I used. Okay. But it comes in a bunch of different T -R -I -N -E. colors. T-R-I-N-E. Yep. And then like you, it comes in like pink and gray and orange, which actually would be match yeah. my spin, my hot dish. But we're looking at like there's a whole wall of yep. the, yep. All the colors yep. and they, or you know, there's blues, there's greens, there's neon. You can do whatever you want. Oh yeah, um, I can see over there. So yeah. if you like, versus was there the spin cycle um, DK weight of the same kind of concept, but they discontinued that. Oh, so if okay. no versus, trying is very similar. And then this is Trinigan. The sweater is Trinigan because. It was the first pattern that came out with, with the trine. Trine yarn. Got yes. it. Got it. Okay. Um, yeah. Are these 100 gram skeins? Yeah. So I think at 150 yards? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't bring my readers up, so you're going to have to do all the reading. But, uh, <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> but normally a worsted weight yarn would be 100 grams at about 220 or right. 200. So yeah. is this a little thicker or is it just because it's plied? I think it's so, probably just um, applied. That's the that the, way, the weight changed. Yeah. 
Maybe. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm going to be honest. I don't think they do it by weight. Okay. Okay. They. It's just 150 grit. Yards. yards. Yes. Got it. Okay. Because I don't see the grams on here. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. 150. So that's a weird they, number. Yeah. For worsted. Yeah. Like a put up. But mm -hmm. these feel less plump than a yeah, they're not a gram, heavy, right? So they're, they're not, not a hundred gram. I'd be interested to know worsted. what they are. Some people Got will it. tell you that it's a DK. Got it. Okay. So no, but that's like good to ask. know for people right. because they might go to buy it and they wouldn't know how much. Like yeah, they might yeah. Think so that none of the spin cycles have weight. Weight. So they their yarns they dye it at ro at roving yep. first and then they spin, spin it, it together. Yep. So yeah. So can you guys see all the colors in that there? Yeah. They're so, so there's like gray, yeah. pink, and orange in the one and black, gray, and white in the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So around here, I'm like, we're super fans for Ann Moody. So this is the um, fog line triangle, but she did the fog line, um, which yep. is a big, yep. big shawl. Scarf, and then, like a rectangle, Yeah, rectangle, right? yeah. Yeah. Sharp scarf, and then um the fog line sweater which i also did and then she did a the hot dish cowl for us which uses the verses and the and the spin cycle hot dish and then um and then this was her most recent and this one is in um dk weight and my plan was to stash bust and i bought three of the four skeins <laughs> I don't know if anybody ever has that issue. But so this is, um, the green is Lavender Loon. Um, uh, I'm gonna remember the color later. Then this- um, Green, very, it's yeah, green. It's very, <laughs> um, the variegated one is uh, Knitted Wit. Yep. The hot pink is Barbie Pink from Emma's. And then this Sherbert one is uh, Farmer's Daughter. I think it's Juicy DK. Okay. That was a impulse purchase on the internet. Um, I think it was, It was. they were raising money for Hawaii. And I was like, love it, buy it. So I have two of those games and I used this, I think I used. Well, it coordinates really yeah, nicely it does with really this nice. one. Yeah. 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 So that, I, that's I hope to I have Brienne on the podcast. Um, oh yeah, she should For be. sure, oh yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Um, she was sitting knitting in Grand Marais mm -hmm. by the beach and I was with a friend going to dinner um, and we're both knitters. She's in my knitting group. And we were like, I think that's Brianne Moody yeah. sitting over there. So we went over and we're like, hey. Yeah. hey. But she was at, she sat at my table at um, Sweater Camp, Darn oh, Knitting yeah. Sweater Camp last year. Last year, yeah. And because um, she had a design with Lavender Loon mm -hmm. at, over in Stillwater. So I had met her. So mm -hmm. she recognized yeah. us when we came over. Yeah. But yeah, I definitely want to have her yeah. on the podcast because she has that new sweater that just came out just in the last yeah, week or so. She's, there's, um, always, there's always something new. Yeah, Just yeah. But she was knitting on that when we ah. were on the beach, and she was, and then she came yeah. in and she was knitting during dinner, and we we had just happened to meet this other couple up there. We yeah. had crossed. Um, yeah. But so yeah, this is yeah, lovely. So I had but that, there are I had number that orange, and then I needed to buy the three colors to go with the. Orange. And this is always <laughs> slip stitch. This is also yeah, slip, slip stitches. Yeah. 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 I really like things that look more complicated than they really are yeah yeah well we all do right yeah. <laughs> we all like to look like we're look impressive knitting, yes knitting yeah, yeah things that are complicated yeah. <laughs> all right and then um then i have tiffany lynn so this is the one that made me fall in love with tiffany lynn it's called the autumn cozy cowl and it's oh, um it so people can see oh, yeah I want that so it has there. like a a bottom like a bandana but then it's super bulky oh, because yeah. of the back and it's Okay. Yeah, it's I'll put it. You on. gotta put it on. Yep. Oh, because then it's not. Thing. Yeah. So and it's fisherman's that. rib, and then garter stitch, and your hold and then. So I used um, lavender loon again. Love Sam's yarns. I'm not in the. Uh, so lavender loon. This is um, the color wool stock. Okay. And then or woods. Yeah, wool stock. And Look then I used this is stash, <laughs> um, that I got in Montana years ago at sticks yarn if you if you go to bozeman go to sticks yarn because they're really fun this feels um chunky like um, it's dk yeah a big needle then uh, i can't remember i can't but no i know you wouldn't have to but it's um definitely more yeah. open yeah 
but yeah, so at the how, top, you're you using... You see how kind of see through there? Yeah. Yeah, because boy, it doesn't feel like DK. Yeah. Yeah, that's really fun. And my mom used, for hers, she didn't do, like, I think it's top down. So she, at some, maybe it's not, I can't remember. But at some point, she did one less repeat mm -hmm. so yep. that she could, it wouldn't be, be so much. So long. Whereas yeah. I like, like a lot. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, this, yeah. like this, I like a lot. Yeah. That, that, yeah. So I grabbed a lot. Yeah. So. Well, <laughs> and, <laughs> my mother says, a woman's age shows in her neck. Oh, well. Right? My mother. <laughs> okay. My mother, who's 85, yeah. right? And so she's always telling me how she needs to um, cover the neck. Cover the neck, right? Oh. Like she, she's a turtleneck yes. lady, right? Oh, like, she could like my vest. Yeah, yeah. That, right, that right. I, like yeah. she always, you know, and I, I have never ever been self-conscious of my neck or yeah, my yeah. whatever. Like I, I have, what I have, we were saying that when I sat down, but now that when you get those first few uh, lines as you get yeah. older and then you're like, oh yeah, I, I do think that you can, you know, you yeah. can see that. And so there are a little ways extra to... Yeah. <laughs> Like camouflage, care of that. camouflage. If you really want, just put you a bunch of way out wrinkles of, you into. Knit your way out of age. You got this. Because it, it's working your brain and your neck. I mean, <laughs> doesn't don't doesn't having wrinkles just mean yeah. you smiled a lot in your yeah, life? Yeah, I think so. Like, come yeah. on, right? Like, laugh it away. Yeah, You're good. I don't know. <laughs> Perfect for this time of year. Yeah. In for fact, sure. I almost wore something different, but it was cold enough to wear a wool sweater. Yes, today. it was. So, then so was yeah. Like, so let's oh. talk about what you have. Okay. On. So this because is. I'm gonna see because this is the framed yep. and I did an extra repeat so I could get it long enough to fit my long torso yeah. because it's of course cropped with so, the optional extra Yes, repeat. yeah. So um, framed by Andrea Maury. Andrea Maury. Yeah. And her Rhinebeck sweather kind, kind I of. I think it year. is, like, yeah. She, I don't know. I'm not she, going, but. No, I am. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, I'm going. <laughs> um, going Love with it. Matt. Yes. And um, Mary and Bonnie from my knitting group who've Fun. never been to go. Oh, Matt yeah. and I have traveled. Yeah. And we've been there before, but they've never been, and they wanted to go, and so yeah. then Matt and I were like, oh, we could go. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. But, yes, yeah, so yeah. she gets together with people who knit it during the ride yeah, and takes a, a picture. Huge but, yes. All right. So this, um, how is it worked? Top it's, down? No, it's bottom, bottom up. up. Got it. Which is a little harder when you're like, because, the length. you know, the length. Because for me, I like a top down better most of the time. Of course, then I am showing you two of my favorites, and they're in, like, bottom up. But... But for my, I have such a long torso that a crop situation doesn't land correctly. Right. And I don't yep. have, I don't, my wardrobe doesn't have like the big dresses, dresses and right. things. Yep. Nope. You know. It's not how it's, you dress. Right. Totally how so, I dress. Yeah. Like I always am putting on leggings <laughs> yeah, yeah. and a, and a something. But right. you know. It's just not in my, I mean, I would have to do it yeah. with my wardrobe. Yeah. And so, yeah, so this is nice. It did come out a lot longer than I thought it would, which is interesting. Like the whole extra repeat was more than, a lot of times that you, you, I feel like a lot of times you can fudge the extra repeat, but with this bottom up, you can't. Like if it was top down, yeah. Yeah. you could just stop. stop. Yep. And then yep. do your ribbing. No, you Whereas this, you would have to yep. line it up with the whole so scenario. it's drop and then drop shoulder, shoulder and then you just switch to the yes this, this just this rib? Is, yep. yep it's just a ribbing oh, and then and the then same it's the, the same yep. like i oh, can't see in this darkness but yep it's the same Bound as the yeah. Again. Yeah. And, and her i mean it's very much like the weekender and all that like yeah so but i wanted to have a high contrast on the top but then i didn't want to do white because everybody was doing white so then i chose this minty green yep and this is also spin cycle which uh water witch which has actually a lot of green in it mm -hmm. so this first part i did in the dark on a plane <laughs> okay now yeah. i'm just we're just gonna show yep. it there so i could barely see what was happening because i was like in the yeah because they were the, yeah because it's, and it's the not light, high contrast no it's not enough high contrast so i actually cut the spin cycle way i never do that i let it work yep and this time I was like, I got to cut it throughout. But yeah, the plane was like, my husband had a light and he had my light. Both of them were going on him. I was like, no. <laughs> but yeah, it turned, I really like it. I mean, they are different greens, but it's just. Right. It just yeah, happens You can to be, see it, but I can see where knitting it, it would have yeah, been hard to, to see. Yeah. Hard to yeah. see. Yeah. Um, so. And you used what for the solid? This is Farmer's Daughter Recollect okay. Worsted. Okay. So. I don't know. I can't remember what she used in it. 
she probably, I don't know. Well, she used Spoon Cycle, I'm sure. Well, yes, yeah, but for, I, sure. for no, the yeah, other yeah, one, yeah, I can't yeah. remember what she is probably. Because yeah. I knit mm -hmm. with your Reminisce. Um, oh, yeah, the sport weight. One mm -hmm. of my favorite knits ever of all time yeah. with that yarn. Like, yeah. uh, it was so springy, such yeah. a pleasure to work with. I, I came back. They don't have Cory colors. I know. They're, they're very they're, muted. They are. So they're, like, they're I, Montana. There's, yeah, there, there was, I got the the blue bluey light pale bluey mm -hmm. for my contrast for the um miss arena okay um and then my frame and bought who's going to rhyme back with me bought the kind of peachy one which mm -hmm. would have been my other choice but now she has the same sweater she yeah. knit the miss arena um which is the most fun sweater because it has lace and cables and color work Oh, nice. And you yeah. get that. It's yeah. like all three things in one sweater. So yeah. it was super fun to knit. But then probably yeah. one of my probably my favorite knit of all time because of what it had going on. And then the yarn. Yeah. So I, that's it why is, I was it's asking, very, too. Yeah, it's got it's, so much. And and blocking it, too. To it. You know, yeah. it, what, it, it's not a super wash. No. But it kind of played a little like that where it did grow a little. And I was like, ooh was not expecting it now so now i have like this cozy sweatshirt right yeah i don't mind yeah i don't care that it's longer i didn't want it to be shorter so right yeah that's good no i yeah. that, love that yeah it's just so pricey i know and i i know i believe in the value of what they're doing right i believe in paying yeah. for i don't believe in seven dollar yarn or seven dollar knitting patterns <clears throat> which my friends have heard me say so many yeah. times right but it's it's hard yeah. to do a whole sweater right it you know yeah you have, i have i have a, quite the luxury in that right. i have wholesale I, pricing I can, yes. yes i mean i don't I, some things i do as shop samples and you know yep. you, you kind of work out how you're going to do it if it's very personal then i i don't necessarily pay wholesale to right. myself because that's not fair either, right? So, but um, I'll pay more. I mean, right? Yeah. To myself. No, so, but yeah. But I, you know, yeah, you have yeah. access, and you need to have. Right. You need to wear stuff that people yeah. come in and go. Well, okay, I want to make that. Then yeah. that's and we that's have, a, and that's and on purpose. I have a variety of options and a variety of price points. I happen to be just, you know, sometimes my favorite things happen to be a little more expensive. Well. You know. Your store yeah. is in an affluent oh, suburb. Sure. Yes. So mm -hmm. you can cater to the needs mm -hmm. of knitters who have a little more money. Yeah. A little more expendable income. Yeah. And that isn't true of all areas and all yarn stores. No. Right? And, no. you know, yeah. and I know one of the yarn stores locally who she just said, I have a huge number of grandmas, older women who want to knit baby gifts, and mm -hmm. I have to have inexpensive baby yarn in yeah. my shop yeah. way more than i ever yeah. would have expected because that's what they come to her for right and that's what they want right and, right and, and so have... she's like okay that's what i have to have but you walk in right. front of that shop and you're like "Ooh, there's a lot of acrylic inexpensive yeah, yeah. baby yarn yeah. here right like it's shock you know right. as a someone who's not looking for baby blanket yarn right, right? and right. she said it, sure. that's my yeah Bread and butter. Yeah, and, I, and I would say that I have, I don't have the acrylics, um, yep. which, you know, it was a choice, which is fine. Yep. Um, but I do have, like, when, when somebody's looking to make something in a baby, for a baby yep. or whatever, we have tons of different washable options. We have a lot of washable wools and cottons and things. Yep. And a variety of price points um, throughout. So, yeah, it just happens to be that I've been talking about spin cycle. <laughs> so, um, speaking of Farmer's Daughter, some more. But again, this is Tip Nealon. And so it starts here. Yeah, and goes all the way. And then there's an I cord bind off and a pickup at the end in this burgundy, which is lovely. Oh, to make the edge border yeah. you pick up? And yeah, do so an you, attached I cord then after yeah. you do the okay. Yeah. So it's yeah. kind of fun. And it's so easy. <laughs> but it, you know, because you're knit, what do you do? You knit three rows and purl one. And there's like the increase at the center and on the sides and then decreases. I mean, it's just, it's yeah. like there's no major problem. And this one I. And you're carrying your color up. 
And yep, you're just, only using two colors in each section. So although yeah. you would have a lot of ends, there you're not changing them very often. Yeah. I mean, I guess yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably ten. You know, ten yeah. in each yeah. section, kind of a thing. So yeah. So there are some ends. Was it yeah. um, written for like seven colors or I ten think it, or I think like, it is or did you just pick a bunch of colors and some people did it in? No, it's two or written four. for this many colors. Okay. And okay. so, she, and what she has on the pattern is she has like a black and white section, so you can color your oh, color okay. in yep. and what yep. you like. Yep. And choose your own colors. And then, um, this is all I did this in the Farmer's Daughter Sport Weight Recollect and the Reminisce. Okay. So the Recollect, I it feels so I know, good. It's so good. It, like, look at the spring. Like, I just can't. I know you guys have heard me say that <laughs> because. I held that reminisce up yeah. for three weeks. It, yeah. It's just so yeah, awesome. it's so good. And um, but like you can see the muted colorway palette, right? right? Like not not super muted right. because there's some deep color there in yeah. the maroon and the navy, but they're they're right. more and, jewel. And, and the more... difference between the recollect and the reminisce, the recollect has the the gray wool before and the reminisce is um like the cream the cream and so like i should almost i should have grabbed two skeins of of it one of each in the same colorway why don't you okay so yeah so this, these are the two so this color in there there that pink peachy peach color yep. that's dumplin in the reminisce right and then we got recollect dumplin same color i know Oh, I thought you brought up two different colorways. I was like, oh, she must not have had two. And I love these two colors. And if you've seen the movie Dumplin, I mean, I think there might have been a book. Too. Yeah. But yeah, so you got to love wow, it. Wow. So this is dyed on gray. Yeah. And this is dyed on cream. Mm -hmm. And it takes the dye. Yeah. Wow. Crazy? I'm glad we went and got those because yeah. that's really. Yeah. Yeah. And the new, that, like, and the new Malabrigo too. Um, you know, Malabrigo colors. Like yeah. Just. So the the say is it say Cabo or something? I, it's brand yeah. new to us, but um, that's a non superwash wool, and I I hold up colors that are like it's just it's muted. It's very interesting. I okay. like it. Yeah, a muted Malabrigo. What? <laughs> wow. Yeah, so, because they're yeah. so saturated. Yeah, so saturated. So and then this one too. Like I had like four skeins or something that I bought at Sticks. Which I, I'm gonna talk about them again. You should go to Montana and interview. Anyway, I just bought like a bunch of this yarn cause I didn't have it. And so I, we call it souvenir shopping. I don't care yeah. if you go and buy yarn somewhere else and come in here and yeah. hang out with it yeah. and show how cool it is. That's great. Cause I do the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Like I'm souvenir shopping. That's where I get my souvenirs. Yeah. Yarn stores around yes. the world. No, absolutely. So, um, I went to four when I was in British Columbia at the yeah. beginning of the month. Yeah. Of September. I was do like, it. Yeah. So honey, here's where the stores right. are. We can do activities around <laughs> these, these <towns>. areas. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Vancouver yes. Island. Yeah. Yeah. So my family sat in the car and I went into the store yeah. and I bought a bunch of yarn, but I bought it to do something else. And then when this pattern came out, I was like, that's, that's what, and so then yeah. I added the reminisce to it. So that's those pops of brighter colors in there. Um, so that was fun. Yeah. But I do, I love a good, a big wrap. I love a big cowl and sweaters. I should have brought more up, but I think they're all at my house. No. Yeah. <laughs> but that's I, fine. color work. Yeah. I love doing color work. Yeah. It's, it's my favorite kind of knitting too. It's fast Color work for me. sweaters. Yeah. Because I don't. Okay. This, yeah, we got a lot back here. I mean, well, and then speaking of, like, having, like, different things in the shop, like, of different price points or whatever, like, we have our Acania, and... So, let's um, show what this is. Is it 20, what is it, 20? It's the sock. 28. Um, yeah, so this is, paints. like, their brand new Twilight paint, so it's very moody. But then we also Very October, Halloween-y, yeah. not, I mean, yeah. not all Halloween colors, but yeah, definitely. You know, we've got definitely. Noro, and then, oh, if you're a Vikings fan. Oh. I am yeah. a huge Vikings fan. The Echo Gusto Wool. We just got those in. These so are um two It's two skeins of sock. Two um fifty gram skeins are so yeah. do they match kind of? Is that why they're yeah, I mean like I, I think if when you wind them, hopefully they match. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> um, is it self striping or variegated? Self striping. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we'd have is, to unwrap well, it. Well, so. it's actually. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That All would right. be fun. In theory, I guess. Yeah. That's no. what they sent me with it. So yeah, hopefully no, that's yeah, what happens. Yeah. For sure. We Why just don't you to... just show one of those giant balls with it? Tomorrow. If you have the. <laughs> Yeah. It's as big as the size of your head. Yeah. Right? That's the Ito, like, I think. Yeah. There and then we have so this Hanui is and we have a bunch of of um Noro now. So I'm this is, of, must be like two hundred grams or I something. Think they are. Yeah. yeah. Four hundred meters, two hundred grams. Yeah. Yarn and young in Japanese. Right. Ito. So yeah. Ball. Yeah. There's so much back here. I know. Well we had the have a ball fall oh. crawl. Which we do every fall. And then they have the, the yeah, new yeah, hooks. Yeah. We've got the, we have all the lane things. Um, that, speaking of garter stitch, this shawl here, the road trip. Um, so this is a road trip shawl. And this is how you end. But you start with the garter. Okay. So yep. like road trip. So I did that first half on the way to Michigan. Oh, sure. And then my mom finished it off for me while I started the other things. But she does, she's out at, she's a dyer out of um, Colorado, and she does uh, inspiration yarn. So this color is the Spoon and Cherry. The Road Trip Shawl. Who's the dyer? Road Trip Sock Yarn. Got it, okay. Yep. So we have the Spoon and, that's the Spoon and Cherry with the blue, and then this one is Loons on Lake Minnetonka. Okay, sunset. so it, you said Spoon and Cherry. Oh. And I didn't get it. And then you said it again, and then I got it. Yeah. So people that aren't from There's here. There's a picture in here. I know, but I didn't. <laughs> when you first said it, I was like, oh, spoon and cherry. Spoon but and now, cherry. Okay. so this is in the um, sculpture garden, mm -hmm. the Minneapolis, the spoon with the cherry. And yeah. so that's why it's called, if you're road tripping here, and you go to the walker. Yeah. Um, this is in front of the walker, and there's the cathedral. But um it's a famous sculpture here in Minneapolis. Yeah. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, so she just made this to match that picture because it's got the blue sky with the yeah. cherry and the spoon. And then this one is um, Loons on Lake Minnetonka, a local lake. And then that at sunset. And then that's the colorway. Oh, yeah. And then matched it with the peach. Oh, those are, that's really nice. Yeah. So, and so... I'm going to show this again shawl. because or any shawl that you want to do with it, right, right? No, like, two color, you know, any yeah. two color shawl for yeah. sure. So is it, um, is it Merino, um, fingering? Like, yeah, it's just 75, super wash Merino? 25, super okay. wash, yep. 400. Okay. Or, I do like a, a 75, 25. Yeah. I like that. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So um, simple. Fun. And then just a little bit of yarn over yeah. next together at the end. I would tell everyone what the, have a ball. Oh, fall. have a ball fall cross. Wow. So it's, um, so, so during the pandemic, right. six shops thought of this. Um, how do we get people to buy yarn and whatever or come in, but they can't come in. And so they were friends from all over the country and they, came up with this idea and they did a virtual fall or crawl yarn crawl. and so this time around there were like 20 shops over two weekends every shop gets about 45 minutes and you just talk about some of your favorite things like you know all these different shawls and things um this, oh that one there that one was made by julie sketch oh uh -huh. Yep, so I let she I asked if I could borrow it from her. So <laughs> Julie Getch Friend. was in my knitting group. Yeah. She doesn't come anymore because she's um, not driving as much. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, yeah. this yeah. she comes here quite a bit, I think. Yeah. 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 Yep. So she made that out of some yarn that we have, the balayage. Um, but anyway, so then you have forty five minutes to kind of do I call it a song and dance. That's what I when I was that's kind of the words I used yeah. when I was teaching. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> here's my song and dance today. So you do that, you show yarns and kits and then people from all over the country get to meet you and I then when they travel here then they're like, I saw you on the internet. Yeah. And I'm like, I was on the internet. <laughs> yes. Yes. So it's super fun, and they have prizes and things. And so we've talked about spin cycle a couple times here, but then we didn't talk. We said the word hot dish yes. a number of times. So tell us about this yarn. Okay. Um, so spin cycle lets you kind of apply to have your own custom colorway, and so 
what I did, similar to like with the road trip sock yarn, is I sent a few pictures of inspiration and some ideas and whatnot to them. And then they then decide what they're gonna do with it. And then they send you a picture of your yarn once they're ready with it. And so um, two years ago, so we had this yarn for two years now. Two years ago, they sent me the picture and I was like, do you have a name? And they were like, no, we don't have one yet. And that's the other thing, you can send a bunch of names. And so I was like. Did you send like pink, orange, and purple? Well, this is it. The inspiration was a photo of like sunrise on Lake Harriet. Okay, okay. So it had the reds, the pinks, the purples, the oranges, all that yep. in there. And then, um, and it's also local to, you know, for yep. us. And, um, and so then I came up, I said, I think it should be hot dish. And they were like, yeah, love it. And so, and it kind of fits like the spin cycle and, you know, and their kind of quirkiness, but then also it fits us with the hot dish name. Right, and, because, yeah. and if you're not Minnesotan. Or if you're not in the U.S., like I have oh, people who yeah, watch yeah. all over the world yeah. that have never been to the U.S. Okay. So they wouldn't know that a hot dish is something that we call a casserole right. in Minnesota. And we would have a hot dish um, supper yeah. where even in a, like a church basement everyone would bring a hot dish and it would be a potluck but everyone would bring hot dish and yeah. we have all all grew up in the midwest mostly but especially minnesota yeah using that word and right. other people are like what do you mean by yeah. a hot dish you just want me to bring something hot no it's a casserole it's yeah. usually green it, beans hamburger chicken usually hamburger um Cream of mushroom soup. soup. Any, and, any cream soup. And tater soup. tots. Yeah, tater tots. <laughs> but it can also be any hot oh, dish yeah. that's made with a cream soup. Cream yeah. of chicken, cream of, you yeah. know, <laughs> mushroom. Any of those. Over Some, pasta you could put sometimes. A like there. sometimes a noodles over pasta, with, yeah. um, you, you, like you Rice. just would throw a bunch of stuff together mm -hmm. and you'd call that a hot dish. And most other people would call that like a casserole yeah, yeah. or a pasta dish. But it yeah. isn't lasagna. Like no. that's not a hot mm -hmm. dish. But that's so lasagna. it's a very um, <laughs> niche word. Yes. But it doesn't have anything to do with the colorway. No. Like you no, would not it look at this and but say. But I kind of well, so like yeah, so like this doesn't look like a hot dish because no. you don't eat pink food. No. Like right. Like so. <laughs> but, but I in, think it's in interesting. the greater world, hot dish is like ooh hot. Dish, yeah, yeah, yeah. like she's a, she's she's a hot sexy. dish, yes, exactly. And then, <laughs> then so, but, but so fun. But, spin cycle would not call something sunset on the Harry, no, right? Like, no, it, no. they just wouldn't. It, it would never. That was not be how they would name something right. either. So I totally get it. Yeah. What I do want to say is these two are the same colorway. Yeah. So this is hot dish, and this is hot dish, and, and you and come into the dish. shop. And you have to choose. If you want skeins that match, you have to decide, do you want something that has more pink right. and orange and less purple or more pink and purple and less orange, right? Mm -hmm. And she has tons of these, but they are dyed and then spun. And so they don't match. They're, They're not dye match. lots. They're not going to... But mm -hmm. I came in and bought that the cowl that you had on the railing, the white one that I t emailed oh, you yeah, about, yeah. and then I forgot the name, and then I had to buy it. Um, no, it was brighter oh. than that. Oh, oh much the brighter. One? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't it was, No, it's fine, that. but no. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but I needed two, two skeins, Montrose, yeah. right? Yep, and I needed, so I came in and I laid out all the, and of course, anybody who knows me knows it's orange and raspberry all the way yeah and I wouldn't want the darker one right but they're the same so yeah I that's why I grabbed yeah several but it's not like you this where they're dyed differently no. it's just the way the that it, they're a mill yeah and they dye the yarn yeah. and like they dye a bunch of orange a bunch of pink a bunch of purple and then they would spin it together yeah and then this is what happens when it gets plied together they coordinate, but they don't match. Right. So I had to find, and I easily found several skeins that were more pink and orange. Yeah. And somebody else would come in and say they yeah. need this. And I actually, I so I had the opportunity to do some last week, some dye some, and they literally they. So I had never dyed yarn before. So like you have the pot that you put it in, and you put in like a layer of roving, and then you do the colorway over it, and then you put a layer of roving, and then you do your color, and you have you have layers of color, and then it cooks down, 
and the roving collects it and then next then they dry it and then next they're gonna like it'll stretch and spin and everything it's crazy i'm excited to see it it's a use, very um it's a labor technical yes. labor intensive process because mm -hmm. the first time yeah. i think people see these skeins they're like they're scary. you got to be kidding yeah no <laughs> like the, the price point oh yeah i yeah, don't yeah. think the price point now five years later is as shocking to people as no, it yeah. was the first. first time yeah. we saw this, which I would have been at Rhinebeck and it would have probably, well, I don't know how long we've been in business, but at least yeah. five years. Oh, for sure more. Um, yeah. 10? They probably are 10, yeah. Because I, I went to Rhinebeck, it was pre-pandemic yeah. for were, sure. How, they were and very they vocalized had, and then they started Yeah, spreading. so, but they had yeah. a booth and I think people were like shell-shocked by yeah. the price point, you know, yeah. $40 for a skein of yarn yeah, yeah. in different, you know, and and people didn't know. They're like, mm -hmm. well, how, why are they selling theirs for 40 but everything over here is 20 right? Yeah, like, yeah. there was just this. Yeah. And then they had to do some education yeah. around. Yeah, and I think, too, like, getting people to use it, too, right? So when we brought it in, the only, like, I guess the main pattern that was out was the shift. Mm -hmm. And then there weren't a lot of other ones. Yeah. And so, like, my mom and I are there, and I'm, and I was like, I think we should do this. And she was like, I don't know what you're talking about, like this, what I, I, you know. And I'm like, no, no, I think, I think this is gonna be good. And so then we grab, we got some. She picked out a palette of colors, and I picked out and totally different, yep, right? Yep, yep, <laughs> totally different, which is fine. And then, and they were just coming out with the Dream State, so the thicker one. And um, so I got that too. And there and so then when um then we got it and it just sat there and it sat there and it sat there and i emailed i was like any pattern and she was like there's one coming and it was the um the rhinebeck sweater cardigan for from andrea maori again um and the throwback and and that blew up that blew up and Wait, then the, when the night shift came out I was shipping the yarn all over the country. Yeah. I mean, it's like calm, this lady in Alaska. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. You know, and so. Um, so you were really an early adopter. Yeah. yeah. For shops, I think, yes. Yes. You know, yeah, and sure. I think um, some other shops have, had had it that died in the wool and it just kind of, you know, didn't really, they were like, yeah, it's not selling. And I think part of it, they needed the patterns, yeah. the pattern yeah. support. They had their own patterns that they were doing, but they needed somebody else to do patterns and then now everybody well and they needed someone, someone really big yeah like, that's yeah really big because yeah you know that's the only way that it's going to mm -hmm. get seen like i could have yeah. designed a pattern in it but yeah. i my i'm a pittance compared yeah. to you know yeah. andrew maury caitlin hunter Hobie, yeah, yeah like those people who can get the eyes yeah. on a lot right yeah. like lots of people will see it and then rhinebeck yeah when people right. showed up in the throwback for yeah. rhinebeck it was like Ooh, right yeah, like exactly it became a phenomenon yeah 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 so. well like her shift like yeah. when they went out and take that picture and she tells the story yeah. of how they took the picture and then the snowflakes started to fall yeah. and there's just like a couple snowflakes and she's like magical yeah it just happened yeah. it's all magical it is fun and it, it sounds like the shop is quiet now yeah. so maybe... <laughs> can your mom come up to... can you come up and say hi hello yeah, yeah. Like, there we go. Face. That's okay. <laughs> You've been working hard down there, and I we want I just works me. I know. It's terrible. <sighs> but but, but you what do are I are a in? joy to see yeah. when I come Thank in the shop. You, you always you. remember my name, and I, I I'm not going to claim that you know every customer's name, but you always say hello, and you are a joy to Thank come you. into the shop. And you you know you've always been super friendly toward me. You told the little story of how I came wheeling in here with my orange suitcases. <laughs> I think you were here that day. I was here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we both and, have and, orange. And, and I, yeah. yes, and I was like, hi. Yeah. Do you yeah. wanna like work with me, please? Because mm -hmm. I just wrote a knitting pattern book, and these are all the samples. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, That's good. So yeah. yeah, but yeah. So mm -hmm. you guys have been in business now for how many years together? Seven. Seven, well, seven and a half. Yeah. You had the party in June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We do it every every June. We do it. Yeah. yeah. Technically, we opened um, the first weekend in June, which is our fair weekend, but we don't do the party that weekend. No. 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 So we no. open. But you yeah. should come during our fair weekend because mm -hmm. it's. Good. Oh, time to see yeah. the whole shop. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not fairs. usually busy. And buyers. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. incredible. But, yeah. yeah. Especially but how has it been, the two of you working together? Oh, I drive her crazy. 
And sometimes no, you say, that good. Well, moms it's can fine. kind of drive no, us crazy. Really That's well. cool. She pays me in wine. And so grandchildren. Good. And grandchildren. Amazing Amazing grandchildren. The <laughs> world's best. And I, said she I get, sometimes I just take yarn home. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been oh, known that, to that would do okay. that. Yeah. yeah. That would yeah. be okay. Yeah. And I have a daughter that's getting married in December. Oh, and there, we have had a few of those moments mm -hmm. where she has been like, Mom, mm -hmm. I got this. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm 28. Yeah. Whew, you yeah. know? Because it's, there's yeah. that dynamic there. Oh, it's yeah. not like it's all bad or all good, no, but there's that yeah. dynamics. No. But I would think that there would be challenges. Do you guys travel to the um, TNNA together? Uh, or those we kinds did. Of we have. Together? We have yeah, we, it depends on the year. Um, and what? We'll have a customer. Okay. On. Bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have traveled to some. It's fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We've done a couple together. It just depends on staffing in the year. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, what it's are fun. your store hours? So the only day we're closed is on Monday. Okay. So and then um, so Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday we're ten to six. Thursdays we're open till eight, so ten to eight. Um, Saturday ten to four. Sunday noon to four. And then we have uh, knit crochet groups three times a week, which um, anybody can come. It's five dollars. We have help and support as needed. Um, that's usually a fun group. That's all on our website. Yep. Um, and then, and then, how often do you go live on Instagram? Is, is it scheduled I, or is it no, just like? No, I don't do. I do reels so far. I haven't scheduled lives. Oh, not a live. Yeah. but you but do a yeah. video. You'll like say what's going I'll on in the shop. Video. I'll see you come up. I guess I assume yeah. there's a live that I just missed, but real no, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's more of a. <laughs> yeah. I, I know I can. I have a minute and a half. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. So much. Thank you. I this is fun. Your time. And yeah. yeah, it's always fun. We'll just um, yeah. see you soon. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Bye, everybody. Bye.